However, Derek's work doesn't stop there. I'd like you to meet Kay and Matthew Oliver, who are mother and son. Now, Kay's husband, Trevor, wrote in to tell us about Kay's spiritual side. She's very keen to find out more about her spirit guide and the course that her life is taking. Matthew is Kay's eldest son and for some time now has been experiencing a phenomenon known as 11-11, whatever that may be. They would both like to find out more from Derek. So here they are live in the studio. Nice to see you both. You. Derek, take, and we're dying to find out, we all are, about what 11-11 is. So yes. take do you want work. me to start with 11-11 or start your lovely Matthew, guide? 11-11. 11-11. Okay, now quickly can I say, Matthew, I've been asking about you, I've analysed in spiritually your aura, the colours and what have you, and I want to say quickly to the audience and everyone who's watching and listening, that 11-11 going back in... Um, I, uh, we talk about records, records that go back ancient times, and they state a lot about the 11-11, believe it or not. It's often said in numerology, when we go from 1 to 11, the 11 is the full cycle of the soul through many incarnations, incarnations learning every type of thing that needed to learn to become the closest to the right-hand side of God, so to speak. Once you arrive at the 11, it's a different reading than what you've read up, good lady, your oh, guide right. says. Oh, right. Do you understand me? Yes, I do. Yes. Thank you. Because yes. she watched over your show when you were reading up about this, you see. Yes. <laughs> oh, she did watch in, don't they? <laughs> but can I just say this to you? Um, also, she's given you a, a deeper spiritual meaning to this now, okay? Right. And I would say this to you, because 11 can, in digits can go one and one is two but we can say 11 and 11 make 22. It's often said some of the greatest souls that's ever come to this planet, to this earth, have been the likes of, if you like, Jesus, Mother Teresa, all humanitarian caring for the world and people, also Gandhi, and also the great Buddha. Now, it's not saying, Matthew, I'm placing you on that pedestal, <laughs> but I'll say you've been born into this lifetime, and I did not be, and I would tell you otherwise but you've been born into this life that when you get to your 33rd year or thereabouts, you'll find instrumentation of change, things will happen within that you will be um, uh, later and you're very, very, um, I do this to you, uh, in your, if you were in the world of spirit, you would be of above teacher class. You would be a, a leader spiritually. Um, so I, I'm very privileged to be on air with you with this. <laughs> but can I, and I, it's taken me back this a little bit. Um, I would say this to you, that I don't want to uh, overpower you with it, but I would say this, from your 33rd year there on, you will help humankind. Whatever's happening on this planet then, you will be helping, you will be led to be some form of spiritual leader, okay? It's born within you. Um, you you've always been a free spirit since birth, mum would know this. Yes, that's right. Is that yes. right? Yes. Well, you see all the great people like Jesus and all these people, we're all free spirits, you know. Yes. They like to do their own thing. Yes. Do you understand yeah. me? Yes. And Matthew's been saying just recently, have you not, it's not a question, but haven't you been led as if you wanted to spend time away from home? Yeah, have, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> because you're all following in the, your spiritual agenda. You've got a mm. spiritual picture, an agenda. But I'll just say this to you. I would like to talk to you off uh, later and, and point out even to good mum what you're likely to expect. But believe me, a golden pathway to helping humankind on this earth. Who? <laughs> You're blessed. <laughs> Thanks. Now, can I speak to you just quickly? Yeah. Right. right. Your lovely guide who comes here and tells me the different things, that a lovely lady, um, she has said she's many times tried to impress upon you, but it seems as if because of your birth sign, what birth sign are you? Gemini. Yeah, the twins. Often is said about the twins, you've got the sensitive side and the other side because we, it's not your personality and it's, and it's not two-faced or anything like that. Mm. That's a load of fooey that. Yeah. The Gemini is a sweet person. Okay. Actually, yes, and I would say this to you, that because you are a Gemini, you'd find it difficult to, uh, up to now anyway, up to now, mm. to find out who your, your guide is. Yeah. She was a lady in a lifetime that lived in Somerset down that way. Right. She passed over to the world spirit quite young, I've got to say quickly. Yes. She's going to show herself in your sleep after the show. It could happen this evening. Okay. And you'll see she's light hair like you. She okay. loved classical music and she also loved countryside, which you love. Yes. Because that's been, you know, it's yes. all with you. Do you understand? <laughs> Calm down, Derek. I'm sorry, Calm forgive down. me. I'm so excited for her. I'm so, one of, I, listen, I'm one so. of those sweet Geminis. As I know well. you are. It's good job you said nice things about Gemini. <laughs> thank you very Sorry, thank we've run you. out of time. Thank, thank you both very much indeed. And thank you, of thank course, you. to Thanks. Derek.
Right, that's all for this part of predictions. After the break, we meet Nicola, who's had enough questions to keep Derek busy for a while, and we'll be taking more questions from our lovely studio audience. Welcome back. Our next guest has a number of questions to put to Derek. Meet Neil. Now, Neil's grandmother passed away last August, and he wants to know if Derek has a message from her. Hello, Neil. Welcome to you. Hello, welcome. How are you? Okay, thanks, Becky. Good. Yes. Take it away. Okay. Lovely to meet you, Neil. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Now, just talking to you, and listen to Becky as well, um, I've just asked my guy because immediately um, I noticed that um, there was no one actually coming close to the atmosphere. However, I am aware now of a lovely lady who's trying to manifest to the left-hand side of you. If you start, don't be worried about it, if you start to feel any, like, slight tingling sensation, if you do, you might not, but if you do, and maybe around your hairline, that is your grand coming close to your aura. But I can assure you she's here now. Now, can I just say this to you, please? The lovely essence of the feeling that this lady's given me is that she was, um, most grands have got hearts of gold, so I'm not going to say anything different there. But this lovely lady that's close, was, there wasn't a harsh bone or a harsh um, link with this lady in her, in her feelings. She was like a motherly love. But can I just say this to you? With her, prior to her passing, um, there was quite a bit of what we call, um, uh, and I don't want to talk about health, but uh, it wasn't an easy passing, was it? No. Because she's given me the conditions as if in her passing, she struggled a bit, okay? Yeah. And the pain and whatever, she's relieved of all those pains. She's in a beautiful spirit body. And if you've got a photograph of your lovely grand Neil around the prime of life, often we say here, 38 to 40, yeah. that's how youthful she is now. Oh, okay? And she was a very pretty lady because I'm looking at her when she was younger. Okay? Very attractive lady, your gran. Okay? But she was very, very fussy because she's doing this with her hair very fussy about her hair, but wasn't something towards the end of her physical life happening here, please? Yeah, her, her hair went. What, you her, her hair went, it, she just like, seemed to drop out and yes. she... Because now she's got a full head again when she was younger. That's Do you understand? Yeah. She wants you to know this. Great. And beautiful, okay? She also gives me the impression, you must push your wife. Push your wife in the most lovely way. She loves your wife, she thinks she's a good lady. In fact, she's not saying, I think, I know, I'm giving her 10 out of 10. Because, but then again, she's given you 10 out of 10 because you're a very caring man, you're very sensitive. You're more sensitive than most men. You don't care. You'll, uh, she said, she's watched him. So I said, what have you watched him doing? She said, he's not afraid to get behind the hoover and clean up and stuff like that. I think she's having a laugh. Yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Because, let me say to you, that's what she's intimating to you, okay? Can you do a little bit more around the house for the good wife, okay? Because she's working, okay? <laughs> All right. She's not being nasty, but she's your gran. But she'd like to see you do that. Take the weight load off a little bit, Neil, okay? Okay. And she, I mean, she does love you. Um, did she? Oh, yeah, she's talking about someone now. Bless her. Um, wasn't she uh, closely linked, your gran, to someone called Mary? Who, what was Mary to her that went over to spirit before your gran? No, I don't She know. was, you know. Oh, forgive me, I'm not being uh, pushy. No. Nope. Uh, I can't take that back. Will you check in your family link who Mary was, please? I will, yeah. And then you can get in touch with uh, Granada Breeze and tell them, okay? Yeah, I will. But she's met her and she taught your gran an awful lot of spiritual stuff when your gran opened her eyes over there. Okay. Okay, okay so you've got a bit of homework to do and get that vacuum out. Yes. I'm sorry, <laughs> no. Hey, look, he's not going to. I don't either. think so. I think so. <laughs> get your pinny on. Cooking, cleaning, dusting. We want you to do it all, Neil. Yes. And unconvinced. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. Thank you, Neil. OK, would you like to appear on Predictions? Be part of the audience or take part in the reading. If so, all you have to do is write to us here, including your address and telephone number two. Predictions. Granada Breeze, Keith Street, Manchester, M69 EA. That's Predictions. Granada Breeze, Keith Street, Manchester, M69 EA.